Hi, Ashley. Hello. And welcome to the Ontario Festival of Art. I got it right. And Ashley, I know who you are, but I want you to introduce yourself. All right, so I am a visual painter and I focus on work in mental health in my art. So I paint visual landscapes that have to do with my perception on complex PTSD, so dissociation and depersonalization and derealization. So I take my perception of the world and adopt it into my artwork by taking things that some people may seem familiar with or some depths in perceptions people are familiar with and I turn it upside down to show people what it's like to live in my world. Okay, and what is your art background? So my art background goes all the way back since I was a kid. I started drawing and cartooning when I was very young. I wanted to be an animator, but then I got into music. I'm one of those people, I can't stop my hobbies. I got into music, I got a bachelor's degree in music, and then my senior year of uh, college, I took my very first paint class. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely loved it. And that was about four years ago. And I've been painting ever since then. Wow. Uh, tell me a little more about your body of work. So most of my work is very familiar. You'll probably notice a lot of imagery from our local mountain ranges, you know, the San Bernardino Mountain Range, Rancho Cucamonga Mountains. Um, you'll notice places that kind of feel like a dream, but they're, they're similar, they're familiar to you. Um, and so my whole goal there is to get bring people in, have them experience something different. You know, a lot of people come and they see art, and maybe they have an art background and they go, oh, well, you should use different shading and color here. You know, you could have, you know, made these mountains look more realistic here in this perception. And, and I, I, I sit there and I go, no, I want you to be confused. I want you to be upset that I use black paint here or that I decided to make this depth perception completely different than what you would normally do. Um, I'm here to break rules. <laughs> okay, I understand that. Uh, what inspires your creativity? A lot of my inspired creativity comes from my childhood. So I put a lot of childhood nostalgia into my paintings, whether it's the color palettes, um, inspiration from sci-fi and pop culture, like video game references, media references, um, and they're tucked in there very slightly. Um, I have a huge inspiration from the late 70s, uh, early 80s Japanese city pop movement that happened, and so a lot of inspiration comes from that as well. Okay. So that inspires your creativity. That sounds great. Um, what motivates you to create? What motivates me? Mm -hmm. That would be my passion for mental health. Um, because uh, I hope to start conversations around mental illness and mental health and help other people have these more open discussions and be more vulnerable about their art. Um, and who they are as a person. And that, for me, is key. Being able to have somebody come up to me, talk to me about my art, learn that I'm talking about mental health, and then they have a completely open discussion with me about things that they've been through. And I had one person tell me, you know, thank you for being the voice that I can't be right now. Thank you for being our voice. So those kind of things are what makes making art so important to me. What's your strongest influence in your work? My strongest influence uh, would probably be from my absolute favorite artist in the entire world, Hiroshi Nagai. Um, he was a Japanese city pop painter in the 70s and 80s, and he's still very, very popular now. I take so much inspiration from his work. I just absolutely love the vibe and aesthetic that he gave off. Okay. How do you define success as an artist? Success as an artist, wow. You know, that is such a broad question and I feel like so many people are gonna answer that one differently. For me, that success comes from within myself. It's not the outside factors. It's not, I'm selling all these paintings. It's not, oh, I got into this gallery, I got into this show. It's the human connection you make with other people through your art. Art is so vulnerable. And to be able to open yourself up that way and show that to others, that's the human experience. Um, and to me, that's important. Has your child, has your style changed throughout the years, if at all? My style definitely is not the same as when I started. Uh, so when I started four years ago, it, I spent two years wholly just 
going into it and experimenting with my abstraction, learning different mediums that I could add into my artwork. And so now I have my developed style um, that I probably won't stray too far from. But in the beginning, it was a completely different line of work. I was a completely different artist. Okay. Now, this is a question I have to ask every artist. Mm -hmm. How do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Wow. This one, I, I would have to say, get ready to look at so many different ways of accessing and communicating with other people. I think one of the biggest things is in the internet, being able to find things through just Instagram alone helped me find most of my shows last year. Um, and there's great organizations and websites you can join to even just look up in certain areas, oh, there's a show happening here that I may apply to. So I would always encourage artists, you know, go out in your community, obviously, get to know the artists in your community, your local art associations, your museums, but then also don't be afraid to go online. Stretch your wings a little bit. You may never know where it takes you. Okay. Uh, what do you enjoy most about the Ontario Festival today, Arts Festival today. What do I enjoy the most? Um, being in my own community and being able to show my art. You know, I'm, I've been local here for like 28 years of my life. And to see a, not necessarily resurgence, but kind of like a growing interest in the arts community around here is absolutely incredible and so necessary. Because if you talk to a lot of artists, especially young artists out here, it's like, oh, well, I have to go to LA to make my money. I have to go to LA to make my living and be a famous artist. And that is absolutely completely false. Okay. Now, what's your connection to Ontario and the surrounding communities? So I'm from Redlands, California. Um, I grew up in this area my entire life. I used to go out here to Ontario to the malls, you know, as a young child. I've been a part of the communities. Um, and so this is my hometown, you know, this is my home area. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming out today too. And once again, your full name. My name is Ashley Wright. And I want to thank you for coming out to the Ontario, or participating in the, in the Ontario Arts Festival. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. And thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Of course. Take care. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.